Hey guys, Kimmy Fruits, your independent Cincy consultant here. Welcome back to my channel if you are a returning favorite. If you are new, thanks for stopping by and checking out the Cincy information I have to chat about today. Very impromptu video today. I just wanted to chat about bring back my bar because we only have four, no, excuse me, three more days. Three more days of June 2023, so we can only get these Bring Back My Bars for three more days unless you create or add bars to your Scentsy Club. So if you are a Scentsy Club subscriber, you are already getting all of the perks that you should. This is an amazing program. I love it. Um, I have been a subscriber and I've had it ever since it's been created. Sorry, there's a stop sign literally right here outside my porch, and there's a person just sitting here. <laughs> um, anyway, so Scentsy Club, amazing subscription service. It is something you do not have to be a part of. It's totally optional, but if you love your wax just as much as I love my wax, you probably want to be a part of it. The very best perk of it is you can always get your bar, so these you can continue to get those bars made for you forever and ever. Amen. As long as you have it in a Scentsy Club subscription. So I know when people hear the word subscription, they kind of freak out. This is something that can be canceled at any time. You literally go to my website or your consultant's website, wherever you created the club, and you can cancel it. You don't have to chat with support. You don't have to chat with me. You don't have to chat or call anyone. You literally make a couple of clicks and it's gone. So I will say if you do cancel it, you will literally lose everything you put in there and you cannot get it back. So be 100% sure. Um, you can always skip months. I do that all the time. Um, if I don't need something, I will skip it. Or the bad thing about skips is you can only do that once in a 12-month period. So watch that as well. So you don't want to lose all of your retired bars. But it's an amazing program. Um, you also get discounts for having a certain amount, like $60 or more. Um, in your club, you get a 10% discount. You also get a half price item and the whiff box is included in that half price item, which is amazing because you can't get any discounts on the whiff box unless you do it in clubs. So it's an awesome, awesome perk slash reward system that Sensi offers. And if you love bars um, and love these bring back my bars. You can always get them. Um, you can either get them every month, every two months or every three months. Um, there's definitely some I'm adding this round. I voted really hard on like two of these scents and I'm so happy they came back um, because I was a dumb dumb and I either didn't put it in club or I had it in club for like a month and I took it out. So, bleh. but Thank God for Bring Back My Bar. Um, I did buy the Bring Back My Bar kit, and I really don't know why I only have like 10 or 11 of these bars on hand. Um, I know moving up to this house, it was really, really hot the time I actually was doing it. Um, so I did have some casualties because this box was sitting outside. Um, hello. Whoever is watching, thank you for watching. I'm doing okay. Um, so I had some casualties with these bars. So some of them I did have to throw away because they were melted and gross. Um, but I have had all of these bars before. So none of them were a surprise to me. None of them were new, um, which just kind of makes me sad. I kind of like when Bring Back My Bar comes around and we get like really old bars that I've never smelled. Um, but since I've been a consultant for almost five years, I've smelled a lot of the ones that keep coming back. Um, so what we're going to do is I have some of the bars, so I'll show them to you. I will describe what I think they smell like, and then I will read to you what Cincy thinks they're supposed to smell like or describe what they are supposed to be. So the first bar we're going to discuss... And of course, I lost the little. Oh, 
Okay. Let me get back to it. I literally had it up on Facebook, which I am really not on Facebook anymore. Okay, there it is. So I should have just saved the picture. I'm going to do that this time. All right. So I saved the picture. And let me get to it. So we're going to talk about beach first, which um, I feel like this bar comes back a lot. I don't like this bar. Um, it's a it's supposed to be a tropical scent, obviously. Also, there is a business behind me and it's a supply company. So you might hear some trucks and trailers. Sorry about that. Um, but here's Beach. It's a tropical fruit scent with... I get, like, tropical fruit and floral. And Scentsy says it's papaya honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. I really just don't like this mix of fruit. I think this smells super weird. So papaya, honeydew, and, and it says coconut. Like, I don't really get coconut, but I feel like there's, like, some kind of creamy note in it. So you get, like, tropical, tropical fruit and, and like, a creamy note. And I just, I just really can't get with those. <clears throat> it's weird to me. I know there's a lot of people who really like it. So if you do, I'm happy it came back. For me, personally, this is not one that I enjoy. Sadly, um, a lot of these bars that did come back, either I'm just kind of very meh or I really don't like them. <laughs> so you'll probably hear me throughout this entire video saying, ew, I don't like that or this is gross. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be gross to you. It's just it's not for me. So um, honestly, if these sound like something you would like, try them. You might like them. So that was Beach. Next is Cashmere Pear, which I had this before this came back. Um, I don't have the bar. I guess it was one of the ones that was a casualty, probably. Um, it says, slip into sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger as a, bl a blend as smooth as and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. Um, I really don't know why this is called Cashmere Pear, because I literally don't smell any pear in it um to me this should just be called old pear because when i smell this it just reminds me of an old lady um it smells like old lady perfume like musky old lady perfume and there really isn't that bright fruit note that i'm looking for um i think if it was brighter it would it would i don't like it so if you're into stuff like that you would like cashmere pear um, next, oh my god, I hate this one so much. <laughs> um, cherry vanilla. So honestly, I love cherry and I love vanilla. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna love this the first time I tried it. And so I tried it and um I smelled it in the bar and I'm like, oh wow. Number one, it's very like shocking and it's very concentrated and strong when you smell the bar. It's really weird. Um so I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to give it a try and I warm it. It's so intense, you guys. Like it, it just, it nauseates me. It's just, no, I can't do it. It's so, it, I feel like this bar also has kind of like a musky smell or like a weird, really weird body care after note that I can't get with. Um, since he says a delightful swirl of candied cherry in sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. I don't get white chocolate at all. Um, I definitely get like that almond note and very strong. So almond, almond extract smells like cherry to me. You get like, it's a super strong almond extract with like a musky body care smell. I just don't like it. Um, I tried melting it this time around again after I got my kit. And it was really, mm, I, I still don't like it. So cherry vanilla. Um, next we have 
churro churro and this was a part of i think a spring catalog i think it was my very first spring catalog as a scentsy you guys um scentsy says baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar captures that heavenly churro charm so it smells like a cinnamon sugar donut you can see i had a, a little bit of a casualty here it was starting to melt but it's still good so i'm gonna melt this i really like this I mean, it's just, it smells like a delicious bakery, confectionery dough with cinnamon sugar. I just want more, though. I'm stingy. I want more. So, fried ice cream came back in December. No, in January. Fried ice cream came back in, in January. And that scent is what I want this scent to be. Um, so once I found the fried ice cream, I'm like, oh, okay, well, my cinnamon sugar bakery item has been completed. So this smells amazing. I mean, it literally smells exactly like what it describes, but it's just, it's so weak to me that I, I really just can't like, I like the scent, but I, my bar need to be a little stronger, especially if I'm going to put it in my club or save it or buy a whole bunch of it. Like, I'm going to enjoy this bar, but it, it's just really weak. So, um, if you do like those cinnamon sugary bakery scents, it kind of reminds me a little bit of cinnamon sugar donut from Bath & Body Works. Or if you were to mix this with, like, an apple scent, like, if you still have apple butter frosting or something like that, you could get, like, hot cider donut vibes from uh, Homeworks, that candle. Um. It's nice. It's just super weak. Fried ice cream is much better. Um, it's, you get more of that cinnamon. You get more. You just get more. It's a more amped up version of this. So if you missed out on that one, try churro churro. It's nice. You'll like it. All right. Also, this is going to be kind of like a very condensed. I'm going to try to condense it. Um, I've my thoughts and feedback before they go away so you guys can make a decision if this helps hopefully next we have okay this is the first time that they have brought back licensed bars and bring back my bar and that's amazing um and this is actually a really good this is going in my club <clears throat> so it's the love and kisses mini the original Minnie mouse scent that was first released as part of the disney partnership Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. It's like apricot, creamy, like vanilla sweetness, apricot, fruity sweetness. I love it. Also, there's like a peach note in here to me. It smells so good. So it's just like a creamy peach apricot, like ice cream, in my opinion, or like a candy. It's really nice. So we get, it says, the sweetest girl is the one you never forget. And this fragrance bursting with bright red berries, fresh apricot, and creamy vanilla captures everlasting charm. Yes, this is so nice. So I'm definitely going to add this to club. It is a delicious scent. Um, it's definitely better than the current scent. I'm not saying that the current mini scent is bad. This one is just definitely superior to that one. It's really nice. So if you like those, you'll like this. And this is the first licensed bar they've ever brought back and bring back my bar, which makes me super excited for the future. I hope they bring back some other ones. Next, we have Fuzzy Blanket, and this is... This recently came back, I want to say, in the last year. So it's not been too long since we've had this. And this is a really nice scent. Um, it's just jammy time is very similar to this. I do actually like this better. Um, this isn't as musky. Um, it does still have that musky note, but it's not as musky as jammy time. So it, it's not as overwhelming. Um, I don't feel like jammy time is necessarily overwhelming, but depending on where you're warming it and how much you're warming, it can get overwhelming to me. Personally, this is just a little lighter. This is definitely its little sister. So it's a little less intense and more sweet than jammy time. So it says, and snuggle to a soft scent of lavender sandalwood and sweet honeysuckle. It just smells like a really 
warm, fresh, clean blanket or towel that you've taken out of the dryer. Um, picture it in the winter time. Um, this, this is a bar I want to wet melt when it's like freezing cold outside and there's snow and I'm like bird watching, watching the birds eat, uh, from the bird feeder out the window while I'm drinking coffee in my warm house with a nice blanket. That's what I picture when I smell this. So I don't know if I'm going to club it. I mean, it's not something I would reach for a lot. Um, I might buy a couple bars of it though. Just because it's something really nice to warm in the winter. Um, I'm also usually very seasonal um, in my melting. So I'm not going to melt this anytime soon because it's been like 90. Well, it's getting ready to be 90. It's been in the 80s the last couple of days. And I don't want to melt this when it's hot. Plus, I only have one, two, three. I only have four warmers going in our house right now because... If you missed my last video, um, we're living in a house that has no kitchen or living room because it had water damage and we're trying to renovate it and get it back to a house. So we only have four warmers, three are full size and one's a mini. So I can't get through as much wax as I would like. And the three warmers are in the same room. So you kind of have to have scents that go together or all the same scent. But this is nice, fuzzy blanket. Give it a try. So next we have ghostly greetings. You guys, I voted so hard for this. Um, this was a September. I know it was a September send of the month. I want to say it was either 2019 or 2020. It's so good. I love it so much. Um, I love the packaging with the ghosts on it. There's a cauldron. It's super spooky in Halloween. This literally smelling this it smells like halloween like there there's no other better descriptor to me this is an old bar i've had um they had it on sale last year so i bought a bunch of them because it wasn't in my club i had it in there for like a month and i took it out and i have no idea why but best believe when bring back my bar started on june 1st i put this back in there so you get patchouli it's earthy it's musky just a slight bit <coughs> excuse me and then you get like this sweet berry so you get like this this sweet like dark fruit smell patchouli earthiness it's so good it literally just reminds me of like a foggy dark halloween night and you just want to hang out outside by a fire or take the kids trick-or-treating or just like just enjoy the cool fall nights as it comes in I love this so much, you guys. Um, obviously, seasonal melter, like I said. Um, I don't want to melt this right now. But literally, um, in September, in October, I would melt the crap out of this. I'm so excited to have it in club. And I put it in my quarterly. So how I do my clubs is if it's summertime, which it is right now here in the United States, I have all of my summer bars in my monthly club. Um, all my fall and winter bars are in my quarterly club because I'm not going to warm them, but I don't want to be without them. So this is in my quarterly club right now. Um, I love it. If you love like earthy patchouli scents like that, it's not patchouli heavy. It doesn't smell like a dirty hippie or anything like that, but definitely you have to like patchouli to like this scent. So ghostly greetings, you guys. That's so good. <clears throat> So, since he says about ghostly greetings, spooky black plum, <coughs> excuse me, I've had like the worst drainage allergy issues the last week. Um, spooky black plum, spiced berry, and a dash of bourbon are brewed in this cauldron and ready to beckon you. I don't get bourbon and I definitely don't really get too much berry. It's kind of that dark plum earthiness with patchouli, so... I don't know why patchouli is not going to know, but it's in there. So next, this one comes back all the time. Um, it hasn't recently, thankfully, because I was getting really tired of it. But happy birthday. I like the scent. It's really nice. Um, it smells like a funfetti cake. Um, I think it's awesome. It, it smells exactly like a boxed funfetti cake. 
So if you like bakery scents or cake smells, you're definitely going to like that. Um, I just, it came back so often for my, my first three years of consultant. Like I'm so over it. <coughs> it is not something that I want to smell all the time. I don't reach for it all the time. Also with this, I feel like it's, it fizzles really fast. Like sensory, to, sensory. Oh my gosh. Um, Scentsy does really good bakery scents, but I feel like most of them fade really quickly. And this one is no exception. Um, it fades really fast in my personal opinion. So that's why I never clubbed it. And plus there's so many other scents, bakery scents. Like I like sugar cookie better. I like simply vanilla. I like vanilla cream that just came back. So I don't need this. Um, this is really awesome to melt with like fruit scents. If you want to get like that fruit cake vibe, um, and no, not fruit cake, like winter fruit cake, but like strawberry cake, peach cake, you know, etc. Um, sugared strawberry and happy birthday would be really good. Um, you could get a nice lemon cake vibe from either squeeze the day or lemon sorbet with the happy birthday. So this is a great mixer. So if you like stuff like that. You would definitely like that. So since he says <clears throat> a candy delicious confection of sparkling sugar, a fluffy whipped cream and vanilla extract. Yes. So it just smells like fun fetty. <coughs> um, I would get a drink, but I literally have nothing out here. I have my old coffee. Maybe there's something in here. Okay. Maybe I'll stop coughing now. So Harbor's edge, you guys, this literally, this was the one. Like I saw this in the, in the voting and I voted every single time for this bar, um, on multiple consultants websites and it did come back. This was a heartbreak of mine. This was, um, August, 2019 send of the month. Um, I absolutely loved it. And I think I, I had it in my club for like a month or two and I took it out and I really don't know why. Um, I kicked myself so hard. I love it. It's not like anything I've ever smelled. It's like an aquatic, you get like an, a, a fresh aquatic scent and then you get like a raspberry and then like kind of a hint of a musky man's cologne and you guys, oh my God, I don't even do cologne scents. I hate cologne scents. They're disgusting to me. Um, I, I really don't like them, if you know me at all. It, but this, the fresh note and the raspberry note, sweeten this and make it so good. I love this so much. Um, I have it in my monthly club right now. Mmm. It's just, it's just nice. It's so fresh. And then you get that little fruit note to make it sweet. And it's just different. Since he doesn't have anything that I have smelled since he doesn't have anything like this. So I put this back in club. I'm so happy to have it back. That's Harbor's Edge, you guys. This and Ghostly Greetings were the ones I voted for the most. And I'm so happy that they came back. <laughs> All right. So Harbor's Edge. Beachgrass, flowering raspberry, and northern oak fern a sway and crush sway amid crashing waves, churning a surge of salty musk. Yes. So I do believe I don't get beach grass, um, but I do get everything else. So ras flowering raspberry, northern oak fern, and salty musk, all of that. It's so good, you guys. I love it. Um, next is Hemingway. A lot of people like this. It's came back several times when it first came back. I really liked it. And then it came back a second time and I just really wasn't a fan. Um, initially when you smell the bar, it smells nice. And then like initially when you first put it in the warmer, it's really nice. But after it's been warming a while, it gives me a weird after note that I'm not a fan of. So I don't, I don't know what that is. It might be, the sandalwood because sometimes sandalwood and apple after they've been warming those scent note profiles it bothers me um so i it smells like an um woody earthy cedar apple smell 
Okay, it's a perfect fall bar. It's kind of a great transition, I would think, for from August to September um, or like January if you don't really know what to melt between winter, Christmas, holiday, and spring. Um, it's a good transition scent. Since he says rich, ripe apples, and warm, woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. You do get a little bit of a spice. It's not overwhelming. It's not cinnamon heavy. Um, it's really just a woody, warm apple cedar smell. So if you're into that, um, <laughs> this next one's disgusting. I hate it. It comes, it's came back twice. I do believe a lot of people like it. Um, I had a customer, um, who really liked it. Uh, my wish, um, to me, it smells like funky, sweet black licorice with marshmallow. It's really gross. Um, I don't like it at all. Uh, <laughs> I think that was one of the casualties and you know what? I was totally fine with that. <laughs> um, a confection of earthy fig, sweet, violet, playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. No, wishing to throw it in the trash. Um, I really don't like it. It smells like black licorice with like a creamy marshmallow smell. I don't get any, I mean, fig and violet, you can kind of, it's, it gets an earthy, there's an earthy smell in it too. Like an earthy note. I just really, I can't do that one. Mm -mm. Um, the next one, painted leaves. I like this, um, but honestly, no one else in my house or that I've lived with has liked it. So um, I never really buy it or save it because, eh, I don't like it. I'm not going to listen to that. Um, yeah, can I melt it when they're not here? Um, not. I can here at this house, but also it's really hard because literally all I have is my bedroom to melt in. So Aaron wouldn't really like that. Um, so it reminds me, the best way I could describe is it reminds me of Autumn, the scent Autumn from Bath and Body Works, which smells, it was my favorite fall scent when I worked there, but I haven't worked there in like five years. So my palate's changed a little. I still enjoy it, um, but not as much as I did. Uh, wander through blue spruce and maple with golden woods. So you get that little bit of spruce. You get a little bit of like apple, even though it says it's not in there. Um, and then you get like a eucalyptus and they all kind of like melt together. So you get like a cooling effect. Um, but it smells like a forest. Like you're walking through um, the forest and you smell like the earthy ground and the wet leaves. And then you get like a little cooling. That's what it smells like. It's nice if you like fall smells. Uh, the next one is Plum and White Wolf. This came back um, and I wanted to add it to club and I didn't. Um, I'm really happy it came back because I really like this bar. Oh my God, it's so good, you guys. It reminds me a little bit. I can get hints of things like that plum note kind of reminds me of ghastly ghostly greetings, but... They're not the same at all. There's no patchouli in this. It's a sensual, woody kind of amber with a, a sweet plum note. It's so good. Um, this is a nice winter transition smell to me. Um, I would do this definitely when it's cooler. I'm thinking like post-holiday. It smells so good. So that's Plum in White Woods. I definitely added that to my quarterly club. I will be melting that when it's cooled out. Sweet Raspberry Preserves and Damn Some Plum Weave Through Vanilla Orchid. So you get like that woody vanilla orchid kind of smell. There's no vanilla, so don't think vanilla cream or anything like that. It's not sweet like that. Um, it's just a beautiful, like, dark fruit smell with a little warm, woody, sensual smell. It smells amazing. So that's Plum and White Woods. The next one is Rustic Lodge. That was a casualty in the bars as well. Um, it's okay. Like, when I first voted for this and it first came back, like, my first year or second year as a consultant, I thought I would love it based on the notes. It's okay. Um, I wouldn't personally buy it. Um, 
it just reminds me of kind of like a fall forest, like a woody manly smell. So it reminds me, so it reminds me of like lumberjack cologne. That sounds terrible, but that's kind of what I think of when I smell this. Um, Rustic Lodge, warm fragrance of cedar, oak, and musk, traces of wood smoke and fallen leaves. So you kind of get like damp, earthy leaves with a musky cologne. So if you're into that, you would like Rustic Lodge. Um, next, Southern Sweet Tea. I do believe this is one that got melted as well. I think that was the one. Either that or Vanilla Suede melted all over everything because I have like a brown wax on like half of these. So Southern Sweet Tea. It's okay. Um, if I had the bar for free, I would melt it. Um, it's not anything I would write home about or rave about. Um, it just smells like sweet, really sweet black peach tea is what it smells like. Um, more heavy on the sweet peach than the tea, but I do get a little bit of the tea in it. Um, since he says a splash of heirloom peach, orange juice, and white tea, I don't get orange in it at all. It's just overwhelmingly sweet peach and then you get a little bit of like a black tea so if you're into that next sweet pea and vanilla this has came back a couple times as well i am not a fan of this either i thought i would be but it's really just not for me um so ambion ambience of raspberries and sweet pea petals with vanilla it smells like a powdery a sweet powdery vanilla smell and i don't like powdery smells also sorry for the truck over here um it reminds me of my grandma um i'm not a fan of it uh it's just powdery and more floral heavy than I need a, like a, some fruit in it and it doesn't, ha it's lacking in that department. So I'm, I'm just really not a big fan of that one. Um, and next is vanilla suede, which I really like. Um, this has always been something I've liked. Uh, I think this is the one that melted on. Yeah. This one definitely melted on everything. Um, this is good. It's so different. It's different than anything I've ever smelled by any other company or Scentsy. Scentsy really doesn't have anything else like this. And you get vanilla. It's not sweet bakery vanilla. It's like the vanilla from the Simply Vanilla Bar. So you get that. And then you get like this musky amber sandalwood smell it smells so good so like if you like the scent saddle up that just came back with the country born warmer bundle so if you picture simply vanilla and saddled up mixed together that's kind of what this smells like and it's so good but it's better um but if you couldn't get this that's what you could do to get it it's slightly Woo! course let's fall out everywhere sorry about that <laughs> um you get sensual it's this, a nice sensual slightly sweet masculine bedroom scent to me i really like this i've been debating on if i i think i'm gonna put a bar in my quarterly club because i do like warming it from time to time but it's not something i reach for a lot but i was sad that i I've wanted to melt it a few times and I haven't. So vanilla suede. Let me read what Scentsy says. It says classic vanilla with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice, a subtly masculine fragrance. Yes, that's that's a pretty great description of it, to be honest. <clears throat> Next, you have Watermelon Patch. Um, to me, that smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's very candied, very sweet watermelon smell. It's not authentic at all. Um, I don't like it. Um, sweet vine ripened watermelon is the only description. It's not. It's not. It's a very candied watermelon smell if you're into candied Jolly Rancher watermelon. Uh, two more left. Next is White Sands. This has came back several times. I don't like it. Um, initially, when opening this bar, it smelled like bug spray to me. 
Uh, it's just, it's just gross. It smells like a mixture of bug spray and Sunday lotion. <laughs> so if you're out all day at the beach and you spray suntan lotion and then it's like nighttime now and you're by the fire and you need to spray bug spray, <laughs> this is what you're going to smell. Ew, I just really don't like it. It's it's powdery and like ambery and too powder and amber heavy for me. It needs to have something to like a sweetness to break it up. Um, it's not for me. It says night blooming jasmine softened with by coconut milk and rice enveloped in a gentle breeze. Um, ew, I don't even like the description. Um, you definitely get powdery floral with the jasmine. I, like the best way I could describe it is it smells like suntan lotion and bug spray. It's that's just gross. Sorry. <laughs> if you like it, I'm happy for you, but that is not something I want. Um, last we have whiteout. This has came back before several times as well. I don't like this bar either. Um, And also, this is very seasonally inappropriate. It's peppermint, which I associate peppermint with the holidays and Christmas. I don't want to melt this uh, in June. It's not as bad as I remember. <clears throat> okay, it is on the bottom. It's gross. So I get like a, a hint of like a pine. It's not strong, but you get a little bit of it. It's there. Then you get a weird fruit note and peppermint heavy powdery peppermint slight pine slight weird fruit note that's what i get from that um it's a pretty good performer though sadly um it says exhilarating blast of cool peppermint sweet golden apple blanketed over frosty winter pine yes so that's exactly it's not i don't get apple from it i just get a sweet fruit note it's kind of undescribable. Um, I would have get not guessed Apple. Um, it's all just kind of weird together, personally. Um, but you do get a little hint of that pine in the back end, and you get like a tiny sweet fruit note. It doesn't smell like apple to me. It just smells like fruit. Um, definitely peppermint heavy. So if you don't like peppermint, that's not for you. Uh, but that is literally all the bring back my bars that are going to be going away in three days on June or excuse me, on July 1st. So you have like three more days to make a purchase or uh, create or add to your Scentsy Club. Ones that I am adding to my club, I am adding uh, the Love and Kisses Mini Fragrance, Ghostly Greetings, Harbor's Edge for sure. Those three for sure. Oh, and Plum and White Woods. Those four for sure are going in my club. Ghostly Greetings, Plum and White Woods are going to be in my quarterly. Uh, the Love and Kisses Mini and the Harbor's Edge are going into my monthly. Honorable mentions that I'm considering, Fuzzy Blankets and Vanilla Suede. They would just be in my quarterly if I did them. Um, I may just buy a couple of bars and be done. Um, other than that, honestly, I really don't care about any of these other fragrances. Like, they can just go away. Happy birthday's okay. Churro, churro's all right. It's weak. Um, most of them I really don't like, to be honest. So it's kind of sad. Hopefully, when we get the vote next month, I do believe the voting for January 2024 will be happening. Hopefully we can get some better stuff because yuck. I really wasn't a fan of most of these. Um, so that's bring back my bar. Make sure you get your orders in before July 1st or add them to club or create a Cincy club um, on my website or your consultant's website to always get those bars forever and ever. Um, now I want to talk about Lilo and Stitch. Um, they... Since yesterday was Stitch Day, 626, July 26th, they re-released Stitch and Angel. Uh, both of these fragrances are back. I've had Stitch in my club ever since it came out. So literally, uh, when I first became a consultant, this was the very first 
Disney promotion I was a part of. So it's the scent is really nostalgic for me. Um, it's also something I've never smelled before. So I absolutely love it. It's like a fruity, a tropical fruit with like an ocean air smell. It's so good. It's fresh and clean and fruity and just it's it's a happy smell. So like when you picture happiness, you picture this like this is what you would want to smell. It's amazing. I love it. I've had it in my club basically ever since I've been a consultant. <laughs> um, Angel smells really good too. Um, I've had it in and out of my club right now. Um, I don't have it in there, but it. I like it. It's a really nice smell. It just smells like berry cotton candy to me. Um, the one thing is, since he does so many of these type of scents, I really, it's not unique. And I really don't need it in my club because they always have something that kind of smells like this. Um, I've had it in my club before. I've, I've always end up taking it out just because it's not that unique. It's that just saying it's not that unique. Does not mean it's bad? It's really nice. Um, I definitely mixing them together is nice. Um, mixing this with other things is really nice. Um, it's a nice mixer if you want something kind of sweet. So if you want to sweeten something up a little more, maybe some of these gross bring back my bars that smell like granny you could use to sweeten them up. Um, but Angel 624 is back right now. You can currently buy it and Experiment 626, the Stitch Scent. They are both back um, on mine or your consultant's website. They also brought back the Stitch and Angel Buddies and the little Stress Ball Heads. New this time um, is Stitch and Angel Buddy Clips that has the little clip that you could put on a diaper bag or a backpack. Those are amazing. Um, I absolutely love those. Um, I sell so many at my vendor events. They're they're an amazing product. Um, it's got the fragrance beads inside the body, so they smell good. Um, uh, you cannot replace the fragrance beads inside the clips, but in the large buddies, they take the scent pack, and you can replace that when you need to. Um, they also have a brand new warmer, which is really, really cute. Um, it's kind of like a vine leaf carved out like vine leaf pattern and then it has like a glass insert that has pictures of Lilo and Stitch on it and it's just like the quality is so amazing it's really pretty honestly I'm not even a huge Lilo and Stitch fan uh but I kind of want to buy it just because it's so pretty you guys um it is I think it's $85 Don't quote me on that, but I think the warmer is $85. It's either $70 or $85. I can't remember. Um, it's a little pricey, yes, for a warmer, but the quality on these warmers are amazing. And also, you have to remember you're paying for a licensing fee for Disney to allow Scentsy to sell the product. So keep that in mind. That's why it's a little higher. Um, but also, with all Scentsy warmers, there's a lifetime guarantee on them. So you don't have that. <laughs> with Walmart or any other cheap warmer you can buy from a box store. Uh, super cute. Those products are while supplies last. So if they sell out, which the stitch scent pack has already sold out, um, you cannot get them. You can, however, add stitch and angel wax bars to your Scentsy club or to create a club and get those forever. Um, everything else is while supplies last. So if it sells out, you are not going to be able to have access to it. So if you are considering those items, I would definitely get them sooner than later. Um, I have not purchased anything just because I don't have the money right now. Um, with me changing jobs and with this kind of impromptu move and lifestyle change that I made, um, I just don't have a whole lot of funding for Four of those items right now, um, considering I already have a club and some other stuff that um, I purchase on a monthly basis. I would love to get that warmer, I think. Um, also, if you have a party, you cannot use any of your rewards on these items because they are licensed products. No licensed products, meaning Disney, Marvel, Harry Potter, anything like that can be used uh, with the rewards. So keep that in mind. Um, you cannot do that. Um, or host credit. You can't use any of that. Um, but you can earn host credit and rewards from purchasing them. You just can't use it. 
on those products, if that makes sense. But you guys, that is literally all I wanted to talk about. Um, this is 45 minutes long. Thank you so much for watching and uh, re-watching. If you watch the replay, let me know. Um, if you are going to club any of these, bring back my bars, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on them. I always like hearing from you guys. Um, and again, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and talk soon. Bye, guys.